Hey, peephole. This is going to be a real quick one. I'm going to show you one of the easiest things ever to make. It's a variation of something that's all over YouTube already. It's done in a rice cooker. It's really quick. It's really easy. This is just a little variation that I'm going to do. Let's get on it. First, what you're going to do, you notice I already started, and then I got the idea to put this on video. You're going to take your rice cooker. I just like to put a little spray of olive oil in there. Uh, it just kind of keeps the non-stick non-stick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you want to take the uh, rice cup, that's the cup that comes with the rice cooker, and measure out whatever you want, but it's uh, two to one. So uh, if I put in like say, uh, three quarters of one of these uh, of rice, and then I want to put about twice as much water in the same cup. There's the one, and there's the rest. Because, this is just for me, I'm not making this for a million people, but what you want to do is, you want to rinse your rice. Get that starch out of there. This is so easy to do when holding a camera. You want to rinse it, rinse the hell out of it to get this starchy, powdery nonsense. They tell you to do it till it's so the water's clear. Yeah, sure, you can do that, or you can just, you know, eyeball it. Right down there. Boom. Then you want to take your rice. This is where the magic happens, okay? Boom. You want to just throw it in there. Give it a little bit of a shake. Just, you know, just to make sure it's even out all over the place. And here's the magic part. In most of the other videos, they show you them. They take the top off of a tomato and they put it in there upside down. I'm going to do something. I'm going to go one better. I'm going to take a small handful of grape tomatoes because with grape tomatoes, you can adjust how tomatoey you want it. You know, uh, as opposed to just having one big tomato, you can decide to put a little bit or a lot. I, of course, like a lot. And this is the part where I'm going to get yelled at because I'm not using fresh garlic, I'm using garlic powder. Notice I did not say garlic salt. Garlic powder. Not garlic salt. There we go. i to break it up a little bit. I don't have any fresh garlic. Sue me. And then, where there's garlic, there must be basil. So you want to throw some of that in. I also don't have any fresh basil. Get off my nuts. And speaking of nuts, I also like to throw in a little handful, a little handful of cashews, just because they go great with rice and they have salt on them anyway. So no need to add salt. Secret weapons. A little stamink of uh, sriracha and a little bit of local raw honey, just a touch, and, and then a little more, a little olive oil on the top. There we go. That is quite literally everything that goes into the pot. Close the lid, set it, forget it, done. Now this thing's gonna turn off by itself and that little button's gonna pop up and then we'll be ready to go. This is a $20 rice cooker. So you'll see what it looks like when we're about done. That you really don't need to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a rice cooker unless you want all those special bells and whistles and timers and crap like that. The one thing I forgot to mention about this process, especially you Italian ladies out there, I know where you are. I can see you looking. You're gonna wanna peek, and you're gonna wanna stir, and you're gonna wanna do it. Don't touch, don't touch it. Don't touch the handle. Stay away, Mavri. You don't look at it, you don't peek at it, you don't stir it, you don't do anything. You let the, you let the machine do the work. When the button pops up, then you can open it up and you can stir things up and break up the tomatoes if they haven't already popped or whatever. But do not touch this handle button. Leave the lid closed. 
An added benefit is that steam port right there. See that steam port? You can't really see it, but there's up there you can see some of the steam. Uh, you got that steam while the rice is cooking and everything, and it, it makes the house smell incredible. Like you really know what you're doing. Okay, and I just heard the telltale pop, and you can see that the button is now in the up position. It is okay to open that ish right there. You can hear it still sizzling. I like to unplug the rice cooker because I'm not going to leave it on warm too much longer. Let's face it, have you met me? <laughs> do I need to keep it on warm? So then what you want to do is you want to fluff up your rice and, and, and bust up your tomatoes a little bit. You know? And you're going to find out that those are all nice and cooked. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. The olive oil gave them a little bit of a, ooh, tomato explosion. Olive oil gave them a little bit of a, of a fried rice kind of a deal. And you notice a little bit of it is kind of sticking to the bottom, but not burnt sticking. So it's just cooked. Stir it up. And get all that stuff mixed together. Here's your tomatoes are all broken up. And I'm going to let it sit in here for a few more minutes just to let it rest a little bit before I transfer it to the bowl and get my grub on. This, this, you need to use this. This is the paddle that came with the rice cooker. Don't put metal utensils in your rice cooker, Sammy. Anyway, don't put metal utensils in your rice cooker or anything nonstick unless you really know what you're doing. This. And there it is, finished product. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to fork this. I'm going to fork this. Take a look at that. You got these nuts in here. You got tomatoes. You got your sriracha. You got your honey. Your basil. Your garlic and your olive oil. It's freaking amazing. If I was the Galloping Gourmet, I'd invite one of you down from the. From the, uh, from the gallery and have you have some with me, but I'm not that guy and Mark doesn't share food. Mark doesn't share food. Wait a minute, fat man. You didn't tell us how much of each thing to put in there. That's right. I didn't. I am not you. You put what you like, as much of it as you want to put. That's that. It's not rocket science, it's cooking.